Pro trucks ready to meet their buyers. Well, good foggy Saturday morning. It is auction day. We're out in Toronto, Kansas, and there's going to be a lot of trucks and tractors on this one. Take a look out here. I've got my eye on a couple. Very wide assortment of items of the agricultural variety. Collectors have descended from far and wide to bid and buy. It's kind of a rare piece here. Dane Seals. Okay, it's a tongue twister too. Dane's Steel Safety Corn Cutter. assortment of tractors. Got an old Massey, Ford Ferguson, John How's it going? All right. Imagine seeing you at a sale of tractors. Yeah. You need this for the lot. Uh, I don't know what I would do with it. <laughs> the flower pots, put it up there up front, you know? Yeah, it's about, she's, about almost yard art at this point. Though. Yeah, she's in, she's in some pretty rough shape. But if, you, if, you, if you've noticed here recently, I've somehow become the rescue center for forgotten and been abandoned tractor. Okay. So. But anyhow. Right. Well, good to see you again. Yep. You're kind of the guy that inspired me to start my channel. And we even did a collaboration real early on the garden tractors. That seems seems like a world away now. Yeah. You've grown quite a bit. Yeah, I've been, been fun watching you. And when I put these tractor videos up, like the old farmstead with the John Deere's and everybody comments about those. I said, hey, if you like tractors, go check out Crazy D. Yeah, come on in, Will. It's quite an adventure. You never know what me and the dog stuff going to be up to next, so. Yep. He's got a brother, Daniel, that's a tractor doctor. And check out his channel too, Tractor Doctor TV. That's a little more of the repair and kind of, kind of the after what they do with them when they get them home. It's mostly all the errands and things I have him running to do for the for the lot and stuff. He's, he's a busy guy. All right, I'm, I've grown to the point I'm about to where I need somebody like that too for the old cars and trucks. Yeah. Well, good to see you, man. We'll good run around today. and see if we can bet for something. Yeah. We'll Who knows, we'll... there's a lot of collectors here. Yeah, we'll see if we bring anything home today. Many apple Smolene. The old Chevy dealer in my town sold Minneapolis Moline tractors. John Deere Baylor. Very old relic. 
like equipment here. Last chisels, harrows, planters. thing runs that's probably a better deal than blowing 10 grand on a UTV in my opinion motor nineteen seventy GMC got the utility bed on it. It's actually a step side bed that has boxes. That was an optional aftermarket thing back in the day. Hardly ever see them with the rear fender saved. I have a book back at the shop that has all the aftermarket accessory truck equipment. There's all kinds of stuff, bumpers and boxes and you name it. Buick Pontiac, dealer Cantrell. Unfortunately, that dealership has been torn down. Very beautiful old building. This is an automatic. Oh, very good, straight six. As in head critters in here to chew everything up just still rocks over which is very good for me nineteen sixty two Chevy C ten four wheel drive desirable truck GL wagon. They're becoming collectible. 55 international truck. Cool piece. One ton. The winch pole set up on the back. 83 F 150 four wheel drive. Sixty-seven Chevy Nashville. Wow. Small block Chevy. Uh, early Minneapolis. John D. 
deer A. A lot of these have been pretty well used, but they have been shedded, so they would have some promise. John Deere B. Ford 5000 with the loader. Very small John Deere planter. Might be for a hobby farm. Very early pole combine. Alice Chalmers, not super early. Might be 40s or 50s era. Old Farm All M. A diesel case. Eight thirty, nine thirty, maybe. John Deere 70 diesel. Pretty desirable tractor there good original paint with a good patina to it. The old man lived here in the white house there on the left. This old farmhouse is pretty run down. Kind of a sad story. The guy just basically drank himself to death. He said he had like seven or eight DUIs. Caught himself on fire a couple times trying to warm up by the stove. Burned on 30% of his body the first time and then 60% of his body the second time a few years later basically called the family into the hospital to tell him goodbye and he died Cervell refrigerator Antique radio. RCA. His master's voice. Just memories.
got upstairs. Just like to document these places before they're all gone. This house probably be raised, property sold, old iron bed frame. Sportsman like driving. These always have some neat pictures in them. Transistor radio. Since we are in Kansas, we got the farmhouse on the plains. It means there's got to be tornado shelter out back. You can insert Wizard of Oz reference anytime. I'm from Kansas, I've heard them all. It's a different time, a different way of life. Put the old canning jars down there. Mom and Grandma would can in the summer. See the date on there, 515 of 28. Good, 90 years old. Give or take. Pretty neat place. Out back, this is probably the wash house. The old sink basin. look in these old tires and find sometimes white walls and sometimes find ones with interesting names. I found mobile, I found city service, I found a mohawk one time. Depending on the name they can be marginally collectible. Some of these guys that collect one one brand they want to have a lot of representational pieces and a tire you might look in a pile and see them as worthless but to that collector i've even found a branded original jeep tire from the 60s got an oliver crawler cool old piece summer I sold $10,000 worth of wheels on eBay. I just had pallets of them and kept sorting them and finding matching sets and selling sets. I 
so much history on this old farm. John Deere 45 combine harvester carcass of an A or something. My dad taught me going to these sales, you gotta look in every shed because you never know what's inside them. This is probably a chicken shed. John Deere sprayer. Some of those tractor accessories have interest and collector value. Neat old resting relics out here. Very early combine harvester. <laughs> That's a pretty neat looking piece. Got a little four cylinder V motor on there. That plaque means something. Some of these old farm guys lost arms and lost hands and fingers. Everybody has a story. Some old wagon trucks. They've cut the spokes down and mounted pneumatic tires on them. Very early Reaper. Old scoop blade before tractors with hydraulics, you'd hitch a horse to that and drag it along, scoop the dirt. Chisels and harvesters and planters and oil drum shed. Possibly a baler there, maybe. Remains of one old square baler. Here's a cool piece. Neat old camp trailer. A lot of sheep herders back in the day would use these. Cool old piece, hand built. Tag 1966. Junk pile.
Always gotta look in the junk piles. Sometimes I've pulled better stuff out of junk piles than the things I actually bid real money for on the wagons. Just because it's thrown in a junk pile doesn't mean it's trash. <laughs> Tractor seat there somebody might want to have. These places are so peaceful. It's just different time, different world, different way of life. <coughs> cream separator at a centrifuge separate the milk from the cream next to it's the old ice box in the winter they would go out with ice saws and saw blocks out of the ponds they'd put them in an ice house then through the summer they take those blocks out put your little block in the one door put your food in the other door Cool. Wagon seat. These are lat boards out of an old house before they had drywall. Put those boards across the studs and spread kind of a concrete plaster mix over them. They'd mix that with horse hair to keep the strength. This here is a seed cleaner. Save your seed wheat and corn and all these different screens. You probably get alfalfa seed and real small sorted different types of seeds cleaned with that machine. <laughs> Old McCormick Harvester. Cool piece. Square bale elevator. This old relic, probably delivered by a steam train back before UPS and FedEx existed. They just wrote the address right on there with paint for the steam train to deliver it. And then they'd pick it up at the depot.
Alrighty, you tell me. They're only all right. They're going to be good. Mini, mini up first. Five hundred. 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 Five
I go over here at 500, going to be 25, going to be 525, 550, and 575. 575, going to be 600, 600, going to be 25, going to be 25. I get 600, going to be 25, going to be 25, going to be 625, going to be 25. I'm a 600, dollars going to be 25, going to be 25, going to be 620. What's that? What's going to be 25? Bail spear on the bed. That's a bail bed right there. 600, 25, going to be a 25. I'm at 600, going to be 25, going to be 25, going to be 625. I get 600, going to be 25, going to be 600, going to be 25, going to be 25. 625, going to be 25, going to be 25, going to be 600, going to be 25, going to be 650, 675, and 700. 725, going to be 25, going to be 700, going to be 25, going to be 25. I'm at 700, going to be 25, going to be 25, going to be 700, going to be 25, 25. Sold them out, $700, number one. 78178. They said the winch works good. They said there's a set of poles for this somewhere. And they said they overhauled that several years ago, but they never used that. They overhauled it. But be your own judge anyway, right there. Gonna, 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 gonna be 500. And gonna be 500. I'm gonna be gonna be 500. Gonna be gonna be 500. Gonna be 200. Gonna be two and a half. I get two and a half. Gonna be two and a half. Gonna be two and a half. Gonna be 250. I get two and a half. Gonna be two and a half. Gonna be 250. 250. 300. 300. Three and a half. Gonna be four. And four. Gonna be four and a half. Gonna be four and a half. Gonna be five hundred. Four and a half. Gonna be five. I get four and a half. Gonna be seven. I'm gonna be four and a half. Gonna be four seventy-five. Gonna be four. Gonna be seventy-five. I get four fifty here. Gonna be seven. I'm going to be 70, I'm going to be 4 and going to be 4 75. I got 4 and going to be 70, I'm going to be 4 and going to be 70, I'm going to be 4 and going to be 4 75, 75, 4 50 and 75, 75. That's a hot Sold them out $450, number 78, number 78. Hey, my Subaru right here, so I'm a Subaru right there. Is that where your spare goes? No title. No title on this. I don't like to go right there. Someone's going to be 100. Here, going to be 2. I'm going to be 2. 100. I'm going to be 200. Money's on. 100. I'm going to be 2. I'm going to be 2. I'm going to be 2. 100. I'm going to be 200. I get 100. I'm going to be 200. 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 I'm going to be 200
GMC. Three quarter ton four wheel drive, pretty desirable truck. Thank you. 
That one's staying in the family. I know, it might be like the other one just sitting there. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't know what we have here. Is this a new international? Toll Ford. Toll Ford on some everything. On the bed, it all goes together. One money right there. And a hundred on the back. One here, a quarter. Hundred and twenty-five dollars. Never done quarter, 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 quarter,